first of all we start with the shape of this graph okay we see that the value in front of this square is a negative 3 negative 3 will be a negative value so or a negative shape I mean so it will be a downward pointing parabola now that downward pointing parabola must have a center line we must now position it somewhere okay the position is found by the value P and Q so we first find the center line and here we see oh but there's not a X minus something but actually there was it it, it probably was X minus 0 squared negative 3 in front okay and since X minus 0 is just X it became um, just X squared now, since that is the case it means that the symmetry line is X is equal to 0 where is that line well it is appropriate that it's written there because that line is the Y axis the Y axis is the line x equal to 0 because everywhere on the y-axis x is equal to 0 okay so next is to find the maximum or the minimum value for this one we see it will have a maximum uh, a highest point and the highest point will be the value q or in this case just the plus 3 so positive 3 will be the maximum value that means that's going to be our turning point and finally we want the intercept as you can see we already have the x intercept the y intercept so now we just need to find the x intercepts how do we do that we make y equal to 0 now in this making y x equal to 0 sorry making gx equal to 0 we get negative 3x squared plus 3 we can subtract a 3 on both sides so that we have negative 3 is equal to negative 3x squared divide a negative 3 on both sides and then we find no, 0 1 we find that x squared is equal to 1 that means x is either equal to 1 or x is equal to negative 1 because for both of those values x squared will be equal to 1 that gives me the point 1 comma 0 and the point negative 1 comma 0 those are the two x intercepts so on the graph we have negative 1 and positive 1 and I just need to draw a parabola between those three points so let me connect those three points and remember to write in your function name hx